Yo, what's up guys, it's Tech64 here, and I know this isn't the best setup ever, but I just wanted to show you how you can install your Hitachi hard drive. This is a Chucky Beat production. 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 Now this is a SATA hard drive, so it's not the same as your older typical hard drive, so it's going to be a little bit different, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how you can put it in here. Okay, so before we start, I don't want you to shock yourself, so please unplug your computer before you do anything. You can open this if you want to, but just don't shock yourself, I wouldn't risk it, so go ahead and unplug your computer. And after your computer's unplugged, you usually have a light over there, so what I would do is I would hold on to the power button just to, you know, remove any excess power. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unplug this older hard drive that I have here and plug in the new SATA hard drive. So yeah, this is not a SATA hard drive as you can see here. That's like custom and whatnot. So this is the old hard drive. So let's go ahead and install this. Okay, so what you're going to need is these two cords here. So just look on Amazon if you don't have them already. But this is what you're going to need. I don't know if the camera can pick it up that well. But this is the type of cable you will need it probably comes with your computer as it should and you're gonna need this right here this blue cord here so just go ahead and look for those two cords because you're gonna need that to plug into your SATA hard drive so i got two labels here p3 and p5 i'm gonna use p3 because that is actually closer to right here where i can install the hard drive so it's pretty simple to remove this just clip these you know together and then you could just try to get it out and it's pretty difficult but you can get it out okay now it's out so that was actually simpler than i thought so all you gotta do is just grab your hard drive and put it in here if your computer has the type of setup me myself i have the dell optiplex 780 so this is the setup for it so i just clipped the hard drive into its casing this is what's supposed to look like so you can put it in here this way and you can install the cables in here so yes there is room left for like these two right here that's the two cores i was talking about that you're gonna need so after that it's pretty simple just slide it right back in there that's what she said just slide it in there and then you can go ahead and install these cables Am I doing this wrong? Okay, so that is done. So after you're done with that, go ahead and grab your two cables here and just go ahead and plug it right into the hard drive. And I'm gonna just put it in right there and it's that simple. So let's grab our other cord here and uh, done. So now that that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and go over here and unplug this because there's no use for this anymore. Okay, cool. So that's done now that everything is set up. Pretty much at this point, we can just go ahead and close the casing and plug in our computer and turn it on. Okay, so now that we're done with all that, pretty much all you gotta do is turn on your computer at this point and just go ahead and wait for it. And right now, you're gonna spam out the F2 key to get into the BIOS setup. You just can't install Windows right now because the hard drive isn't set up in the BIOS, so, oh, here we go. So I have the Dell Octiplex 780 and this is what the BIOS looks like, so it's gonna look different for like every computer, so just kinda just try to stick with me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into to drives right now i'm gonna go into drives again and i already set this up but right here sata zero is checked that's because that's my hard drive it shows right here in the list so pretty much what you're gonna do is go ahead and select it it's just just look in the list if you have one right here and go ahead and hit apply and go ahead and exit the bios and now that you're done with that go ahead and spin out the f12 key on your keyboard so if you have a usb drive that you have windows installed on go ahead and select usb drive or if you have a disc like me i'm gonna go ahead and select onboard or USB CD ROM drive. I'm gonna go ahead and highlight it by pressing the down key and then pressing the enter key and Windows should show in a second. And there's Windows. So I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward this because this might take a little bit to load. So I'm gonna just go ahead and show you, you know, it's loading and whatever. So let's wait. Okay, cool. The computer started up. All you gotta do at this point is select your language. It's already selected for me, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit next. So go ahead and hit install now after that, and you should wait for this to show and wait just for it to load. Okay, cool. Now Windows is asking us to activate it. So if you have a product key, go ahead and enter that now. But it's gonna set up for me once I install Windows and everything, get on the internet. So I'm gonna hit, I don't have a product key wait for it to load i'm gonna select windows 10 pro hit next and now it should show us if we want to do a custom or an upgrade so i'm gonna go ahead and hit custom okay so here are all our drives here so pretty much 
this is well everything I've plugged into my computer. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna go ahead and new. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure this is all the way up. Click apply and hit okay. And now that that's all set up, all you have to do pretty much at this point is just install Windows and we'll wait for it to install. So yeah, this is definitely gonna take a while. So I would recommend you grab some popcorn, watch some TV or something like that because this takes a long time. So just wait for that to go and then you should be done in a second. But I do want to point out something. Some people were saying that this hard drive is loud, like just like extremely loud. I don't even hear anything. I heard like one click and that was it. The loudest thing over here right now is my CD spinning to install Windows. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and fast forward this. I'm, I don't know if it's gonna survive through this whole thing because I don't got that much space on here. But I'm gonna try and fast forward this and see if we can get through it. So let's go. Guys, we are finally done. So, pretty much at this point, you just set up Windows. You let Cortana help you if you want to. And that's pretty much it. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I'm not going to do any you know, speed test or anything with this right now. I will maybe in a you know future. But that was pretty much it, guys. So, thanks for watching. Subscribe more videos like this. Hit that thumbs up button if you like this. Follow me on social media at, well, Facebook. Just look up Tech64. And if you like phones and stuff like that, go ahead and check that out. That's also part of this channel. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed this, guys. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. I'll, I'll see you. Yes. See you, guys.